No intro today, just straight into it. The Mr. Beast hate squad have reunited once again to discuss new information and allegations that have been brought to light. Now, the lunch league situation has really dampened down the whole Chris Tyson situation and all the allegations following that. But we're finally back into the thick of it, back into the meat and potatoes of it all. So Dogpack 404, or Mr. Beast's number one public enemy, has gained access to a Telegram chat with Mr. Beast, Chris Tyson, and other important members of the Mr. Beast crew that date back from roughly 2020 to 2024. And these messages are just disgusting. So new update, I have received thousands of leaked messages from an official Mr. Beast work chat. These are all just their work chats from 2020 to about 2021 on Telegram. The messages talks about SA, incest, anti-semitism and even shares an explicit photo of an alleged 13 year old child so i want to give you a quick trigger warning some of these messages touch on sensitive topics like sa anti-semitism incest and one message even allegedly contains a sexually explicit photo of a 13 year old child apparently all these messages have been verified through multiple mr beast ex-employees and credible sources who were also in the group chat as well i verified the legitimacy of these chats with multiple former employees and let me tell you, they are absolutely insane. I'm just going to start off by saying Telegram has got to be one of the worst apps ever on the internet. It's literally littered with creeps, PDF files and CP distributors all throughout different groups. If you've heard of Telegram, then you probably know this by now. But if you haven't, I recommend going and watching PP Southeast Texas. They're a predator catching channel and they do a very good job of exposing these people. They even catch weirdos on Telegram. They record their names down of every person in these groups distributing CP and they report them to the authorities or they track them down and have a chat to them. Anyway, so a while back, Mr. Beast wrote a tweet saying that he had no idea about Chris Tyson's online activities and anything about any of the allegations that have been shared about Chris. But people were quick to point out that this isn't true. Now, if you jump into a time machine and jump back many years ago on Mr. Beast's channel, there was actually a sexually explicit picture or drawing of a child on Mr. Beast's wall in his living room for everyone to see that comes into his house. Now, bear in mind that was Chris Tyson's picture. It's been confirmed that it was his, that he owned it and bought it from ex-YouTuber and fucking weirdo named Shadman. So the internet being the internet absolutely cooked Mr. Beast saying that he knew about Chris's issues all along and that he was just lying. Fast forward to today, we have more pieces of evidence to show that Mr. Beast actually knew. So Rosanna and Dawson start going through some of the messages and Dawson just clears up the fact that John Smith is actually Jimmy, shows some proof, shows some evidence. Okay, but before we get to that, <laughs> I want to show you that John Smith in mm -hmm. these chat logs is Mr. Beast. We've had this confirmed by multiple former employees. He mm -hmm. changed his name on Telegram at some point after. I'll just show some messages to show that John Smith is Jimmy. Here he's saying he got exposed after Keemstar called him a simp on Twitter. And then here he gets tagged as Jimmy by someone else. Of course I knew that. Every time I text Keem about drama, he tells me to fuck off and that he's known for 23 hours. Here's another Mr. Beast chat where John Smith is asked what his Discord name is and he says Mr. Beast. So in these chats, Jimmy is John, John Smith. Smith. Yeah. So after a lot of yapping, those two finally get into the nitty gritty of it all. Right off the bat, they start off by showing Chris sending an explicit photo of a underage girl into a group chat. Starting with a sexually explicit uh, photo of an alleged 13 year old. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Oh, this isn't a work chat. So Ava Tyson sends a photo of a young looking girl in a sheer top. Ivanka Trump when she was 13. Yeah, and the message reads, so this photo is allegedly of Ivanka Trump when she was 13. Ava thought that this was possibly a 13 year old and she's posting it in a work chat. Now, apparently this girl had a see-through top on and she was clearly underage. And this girl was actually Ivanka Trump, who is Donald Trump's daughter. Now, Dawson didn't actually say this in the video, but it seemed to be like Chris was actually against this. But at the same time, he admitted to reverse searching it and still shared it to people online. Like who in their right mind would cross-reference a photo like that? Like hack into the mainframe and val validate CP. He's literally the stock X of CP. Like what the fuck is going on? So after that bombshell, we get into some other stuff that was shared. Jimmy allegedly didn't know anything about Chris's online activity, but then he shares a photo of an anime. This anime is called Higgy Hero, um, and the caption below it was, I bet Chris would love this. Let's see if Jimmy knew about Ava's uh, concerning behavior. June of 2021, he sends a message of an anime called Higgy Hero, or Higgy Hero, it says, I bet Chris would love this show. Why? What's this show about? Well, it's interesting that you ask because this show is about a romantic relationship between a 26 year old salary man 
and a 17 year old high school runaway. It's well known online to be a controversial anime. Uh, and this anime is based on even more explicit novels that, that go uh, into the details of this romantic relationship between a uh, adult and an underage girl. Now I enjoy anime as much as the next guy, but I don't watch this weird shit. Like I keep in my lane, I kind of watch One Piece, Hell's Paradise, Jujutsu Kaisen, you know, the mainstream stuff. Not this depraved gooning session of animes that just leads to a pipeline of creeps and CPs. It's not shocking that Chris likes the gooning animes. He's been a gooner for a long time now. Yeah, a new poster to add to the collection for the joking session with the Mr. Beast crew. Dawson goes on to show another message from Chris Tyson talking about another anime called Food Wars, where Chris be talking hella sus about what the fuck actually goes on in that anime. And ah, if you don't follow the plot, Food Wars is just food and porn. Oops, she clarifies, underage porn. Oh. He even needed to clarify that it had underage porn in it. Like, thanks, Chris. Thank you for the clarification. We really needed that. They're like, hey, we're all second year high schoolers and now we are having orgasms. This steak is so bomb. He then goes on to show how Chris has an obsession with the daughter from The Incredibles, which whether you've watched it or not, you can safely assume if Chris likes it, the girl's probably underage. Again, sexually explicit meme about Violet from <gasps> no! The Incredibles. Oh, no. He also engaged with a, a meme on Twitter of Violet throwing her backpack and he responded, low key, she cute. And a reminder, Violet is a fictional character that's 14 years old. What's the rule on the internet where they take something and they turn it into rule porn? Rule 34. This is rule 34-ing a, a cute little 14 year old character. Yeah. What is the meme? Do you get it? I don't get it. So, so it's imagining it's a 14 year old with nipple piercings and a butt plug. And what's crazy to me is Chris has been publicly tweeting all this weird stuff for years now and it's gone under everyone's noses. Like no one has said a word about it. He was tweeting at Shadman, the guy who literally draws CP for years and no one connected the dots. What is Tyson and Mr. B's doing at work? Group miners in the Discord apparently. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Dogpack just does not give a fuck anymore. He literally got a cease and desist from the biggest YouTuber in the fucking world and just laughed in his face. He's literally just staring the devil into his eyes and just spitting a fucking fat loogie and he just does not give a fuck. So up next is some more weird and explicit messages and photos sent to, keep in mind, a work group chat. Photos depicting Animal Crossing characters doing the nasty and Chris Tyson sending a very anti-Semitic photo. Here's another one from Animal Crossing. No! Oh, no, not yeah. Animal Crossing. We're gonna ruin all no. your favorite. No, it doesn't. No. I love Animal Crossing. This is heartbreaking. Okay, well, look away then. You've got something Thanks. really big in your pocket. Hurry up and show it to me. Okay, it's a clock. And then I don't know what this, are you familiar with dick flattening? What is that? I think it's just self <laughs> a ton of Nazi symbols. To me, it's a little bit of a stretch to call Chris anti-Semitic or that she hates a certain religion because at the end of the day, it's just an edgy meme. It's not really connected to the main allegations that have been brought up and that need to be focused on. It just feels like Dogpack is just trying to nitpick every little piece of evidence, uh, no matter the significance of it, uh, just to pin it against Mr. Beast and Chris. I'm not defending them, but it's just how it looks. To me, it isn't that big of a deal. Uh, they should probably just focus on the main allegations at hand. They have much bigger fish to fry at this point. It starts to get really nitpicky, like how Lava GS, uh, who was one of the main victims of grooming from Chris, was gifted a karambit knife from a giveaway. Lava, who's the person Ava's accused of grooming, won a Mr. Beast giveaway. The giveaway was also a knife, which is bizarre because he was just, what, 13 at the time? Lava GS was the kid that literally defended Chris Tyson to the death. Like Lava would have sat through a thousand hours of listening to Thick of It by KSI just for the allegations for Chris Tyson to go away. Like literally certified meat rider. But anyways, the knife was just a replica of CSGO. Like, I doubt it was even sharp. I don't even think it was real. It's probably just cardboard or plastic. Like, it's a bit of a stretch. He became a moderator in the Discord chat where he was aware of the not safe for work, uh, sexually explicit memes and images being posted. And here's some messages of, of people in the Discord saying, I did not expect to see memes and hentai. I should have expected hentai knowing Beast likes Shadman. Oh, and hentai is that it's like cartoon porn. So this is like a random fan in the Discord who knows that Beast likes Shadman 
back in 2018. Okay, so let's throw in a bit of a spanner in the works because the whole time it's been Chris that has been a fan of Shadman, but now Mr. Beast does too. I'm not sure if that was just a random comment or if that has any validity behind it, but I thought he was unaware of Chris Tyson's activities online. I thought he didn't know. Dogpack goes on to read some more messages that were released earlier this year in the first expose. She goes on to say, I don't have an issue with the channel, but I have an issue with our minors that have access to said channel, referring to the Not Safe for Work channel. And then Chris responds, is there even a way to do that? Not really. So what do we do? Like remove it? Yeah, no shit there is, Chris. Or maybe just don't have a not safe for work channel when minors are in your Discord. Even fucking Beetlejuice knows that's too inappropriate to, to do. I need you to make this 10 times harder. How hard do you want it, Jimmy? Hard. Hopefully you can you also get really. a 50 gallon drum of lube. <laughs> we got P Diddy. We've got Young Fiddly. And now we have Mr. Biddy with his 50 gallon drum of lube in his multi-million dollar warehouse. But seriously though, jokes like that are just undefendable. They're unacceptable around minors at all. It's just so fucking weird, man. I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it at all. It's like trying not to talk to a fucking minor or be a creep online, YouTuber edition, fucking impossible edition. Like what is with these content creators and all these famous people just ruining their life and just being so stupid and morally fucked. The Mr. Beast Hate Squad go on to read out some weird message uh, that was reposted by Chris from 4chan into this Telegram chat. I'm not going to read it. You can pause it if you want, but just a warning, it is fucking weird. It's a post about incest, and that's about as much as I'm going to say that I feel comfortable with before my fucking gag reflexes start kicking in. It's just fucked. It is just horrible to read. I hope if there's more messages that come to light that these two can focus a little bit more on the important topics at hand and the, the allegations that are really strongly against Chris. But nonetheless, that's all the leaked messages that have come out from the Mr. Peace Empire. If there's any more that come out, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. Anyways, if you liked the video, make sure you click this one here. I think you might like it and that's about it.